Welcome to this week's market drama. We'll begin with the S&P 500, which fell 0.7% for the week. Being the last week of the month, now we can see how September fared as a whole. It was down 5% for the S&P 500. For the quarter, it was down 3%. Uh, NASDAQ fell 6% for September. Yet when we look at the year, September, uh, I'm sorry, the S&P 500 is still up uh, close to 12%, right? So a uh, bad quarter so far is still a good year. And the story remains the same. And for this particular quarter, the cross currents were the Federal Reserve telling us we might have higher interest rates for longer, yet we see inflation numbers continue to come down. And the other variable is the economy was holding up fairly well. We started to see a couple of numbers on the consumption side uh, that show some weakness, as well as payroll starting to show deterioration. And that's where this last quarter, the market sold off kind of this queasiness of if the Fed keeps hiking rates and the economy goes into a recession. This this might not be a good deal. Um, now, that was for the quarter, if you think, or the year, right? The cross currents. For this past week, the cross currents were we had a core PCE inflation number for August that was better than expected, right? 3.9% year over year growth. Uh, that's the uh, first time since June 2021 that we see a core PCE number below 4% year over year growth, right? So inflation continues to come down and the market was actually rallying into the last day of the week. But then the concerns around a government shutdown became real as we headed into the weekend, still without an agreement in Congress. As of Sunday this morning, there was a stopgap in Congress and the federal government will remain open heading to next week. So we'll see how the market takes that in the coming days. Coming into this week, the big uh, economic number to keep an eye on is monthly payrolls on Friday. We'll give a sense of how the unemployment rate is, as well as how payrolls were for last month. So let's stay tuned for that. Take care.